What's up, all? JC3 here, the baller of YouTube, the general. Welcome to Topic Tackle. My take for today is on how James Harden is making the game of basketball simple. We're going to look at his go-to moves that enables him to put up over 31 points a night and dish out over 9 assists to this point. I believe he's undoubtedly the MVP this year, especially looking at his own numbers and his contribution to the Rockets' overall record, but what exactly is he doing on the court to be able to drop 60, 11, and 10 in a single game? And here's a quick reminder to check out my past couple of videos. I did a video previously very similar to this one, kind of like a player breakdown on Kevin Durant. You can check that one out as well. So check out my past couple videos and community posts because if I'm not posting a video, guess what I'm going to be posting on the community tab? Upcoming content, basketball related posts, they all happen over there. And like I always say, make sure to give this video a thumbs up for more Topic Tackle coming soon and leave your feedback in the comments down below if you like these player breakdown type videos. And I also have a lot of other video ideas that are ready to go. So be prepared for those dropping soon. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments down below and let's get started. 31 and a half points per game. 9.1 assists, 5 rebounds, and for those of you who say he doesn't play any defense, 1.8 steals per game. Not the quickest or the most shifty, James Harden gets it done regardless. So how does the beard seamlessly create offense on the court? Harden's primary operating sets in the half court are the iso and the pick and roll. His success in the iso is due in large part to him being able to attack with either hand combined with the threat of a pick and roll lob to Clint Capella. For example, as Harden drives into the lane against the Spurs off the pick by Capella, Danny Green has to chase and Pau Gasol can't completely step up and commit to Harden because Capella is rolling for a potential lob, Harden easily scores the floater. Now, he's a creative player that is also in an ideal situation given his roster to complement his game. Let's look at the play again. Green decides to go over the screen because going under could potentially lead to Harden pulling up for an uncontested three. Dewante Murray can't provide full-on help defense because Chris Paul is a three-point threat from the right wing, so Harden is able to drive in with Capella as a threat for the lob, scoring the floater. Harden also does these things off the pick and roll, which shows his creativity. Now let's analyze Harden's ISO game. Everyone can see it coming. Between the legs, crossover, between the legs, step back or side step three, even over bigs. So how does he consistently get these open looks off the step back when he's not the quickest or shiftiest guy? What all young players should work on is perfecting a certain aspect of their game that puts fear into their defender. Something that the defense will have to honor when guarding them. That is what they should work on perfecting. Well, Harden has that with his ability to attack the rim with either hand. He essentially lulls his defender to sleep with his between the legs crossover combo, causing the defender to back up as if he's about to attack the rim. Once Harden has enough space, he steps it on back or to the side and pulls up for that three. This is all created by his ability to get to and score at the rim. Without that driving ability, there is no way he's getting all these open looks. So what is the best way to cut off the beard's abilities? See what I did there? Cut off beard, right? Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah. As seen in the past, you have to tire him out, which is going to involve targeting him on the defensive end to make him expel more energy on that side of the ball. Because on offense, he has the highest usage rate in the NBA among players that are legitimately playing a lot of minutes. So it's very fair to say that his team relies on him for a large portion of the offense. He looked worn out at the end of the San Antonio series last year, so if you have a team like Golden State that is going to push the tempo all game and make Harden defend Clay or Steph and possibly even switch on to KD, that is your best chance at slowing him down. Because we know by this point, there ain't no stopping him. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. If James Harden isn't the MVP, then who is? Remember to subscribe, like, and leave your feedback in the comments down below, and we'll be back with more Topic Tackle soon. JC3, out!